Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Racer X Films. We're out here today at Cahuilla Creek MX Park in an uncharacteristically wet Southern California. We're here uh, with Billy Linovich. He's going to be our test rider today for the 2016 CRF 250R intro. All right, so we grabbed Jeff Tigert here from Honda Racing Company to walk us through the 2016 CRF 250R changes. Jeff, what can we expect to see on the 2016? All right, Pete. Well, thanks for coming out, guys. Sorry about the weather. Um, for the 250R, the 16-year model, we focused on the engine on this model. We really wanted to get some more top-end power out of it, but without sacrificing any of the, the low-end and mid-range. So uh, we started with a new piston, which is a little lighter, and the compression ratio is up um, to 13.8 now for 13.5. It's got a lighter weight connecting rod. It's got uh, titanium exhaust valves and a higher lift cam. Um, all that stuff just kind of free up the valve train, um, get the thing to rev out a little better up top. Um, now to get the exhaust out of the thing, we've added a resonator pipe to the header, which you can see just down there behind the, uh, the header pipe, and also opened up the mufflers a little bit for a little more free flowing. Um, so all those changes, again, like try to focus on getting a little more top end power, but maintaining our good low and bottom end uh, mid-range power. So, the chassis wise, we uh, went kind of a very similar approach to the 450. The forks are five millimeters longer. Although the ride height maintains the same, you can see that in the clamps, they're, they're five millimeters pushed up now. So just give the end user the choice if he wants to push them down or leave them where they're at. Um, another step of evolution on the TAC, the Showa fork, the triple air chamber, is we've added a Schrader valve to the outer, um, outer chamber. Um, last year it was atmospheric. Um, now you can actually play with pressure. Just give a little more adjustability to the guys that want to really fine tune their setup on the front fork. Um, it also gets a new uh, fork seal, which is uh, about 25% less friction, um, just to get the thing, keep the stiction out of it, free, free flowing. And uh, now the clickers, again, like the 450, the clickers have eight clicks per rotation versus the four last year. And same with the shock. So the shock got a revalve and also those clicker adjustments. What's up guys, this is Billy Leninovich, just got off the track riding the CRF 250R, bike is amazing, did a bunch of new motor work, the bottom mid hits hard, mid, top, uh, got the new air forks, track amazing, track conditions a little bit different than normal, we had a some rain, a lot of rain actually, and um, it was muddy out there, front end track good, over the bumps, it soaked it up and just had a blast on the bike. This 250F right here is the best 250 Honda that I've ever ridden. I've ridden a lot in my career. Um, a great bike and I gotta thank Honda for letting me come out and riding it. I had a blast and thank you Racer X for calling me and letting me do this.